I am speaking with Lisa Woodruff of Organize 365 about her Sunday basket system and how it is similar to the streamlined paper solution. Um, so it's it's a good way to talk about how different organizers have different approaches, um, but it's all the same end result. Like different people think differently. And so the same solution won't work for everybody and you need to figure out what is gonna resonate for you. Um, and that's why I recommend several different things. But I think from my research, Sunday Basket is most similar. So there's categories involved and the paper solution has um, to file, to read, to um, act on, to enter and recycle and trash and shred that whole pile of go away. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you process at a certain time uh, of your week or month that you pick to deal with that stuff. So Lisa, tell us a little bit about how the, the Sunday basket, the overall kind of process of it works. Yes. So the Sunday basket is maybe a little bit more kindergarten version than yours, a favorite organization, <laughs> because I was an early childhood teacher, but also I was a middle school math teacher and they're kind uh -huh. of the same thing. Right. So what I have learned as an educator, and I've taught in private school, public school, disadvantaged children, Montessori education, um, we all learn differently. And so when mm -hmm. I taught middle school math, I was teaching in a Montessori setting. I had mm. 14 students and I had 14 lesson plans. So I taught algebra at 14 different paces in 14 different ways because I believe that only a teacher can fail to teach, a student cannot fail to learn. So inside right. of the Sunday basket, I've incorporated a lot of different learning styles and this is why it's so effective and works for almost everybody that tries it because whatever your learning style is, is inside of the Sunday basket. Mm -hmm. So the Sunday basket has uh, 25 slash pockets in it. There are five that are rainbow colored and then there are five pink, five purple, five blue, and five green. And it organizes all of your active paper. So in your solution, you have a mix of archive and active paper. Yeah. We put the stuff that you would want to reference or go look like, I need to go find that paper in a binder. So it's not in the box at all. Right. So in the box is just your active papers, but also it's your to-do list. It's anything that's in your brain is written down on an index card. We fill our, mm -hmm. our boxes full of that your mail, anything that needs to be done. Like if you need to fix a battery, you just put the item right in the Sunday basket. If you got a quart of paint, you just put it in the Sunday basket till you're ready to do that project. If you need to refill a prescription, you just take the prescription bottle and you throw it in the Sunday basket. Mm -hmm. So it really is a nice pile on the end of your kitchen counter instead of having it all over the place. Right. And then you go through it every single week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I love that because it incorporates the to-dos with the paper. And yeah. and the second part of my solution does deal with the that aspect. But having a place, whenever I mention, I have my out the door place, like all the stuff I gotta take back. I have my, the pile of stuff to remind me to refill the prescription and paint the, the chair and all that stuff is, yes. I actually put a pile of the things. <laughs> Once I've decided to do it, I, you know, you gotta limit how many things you work on at one time, but there is a, a method to our madness, if you will. Well, and I think that's really important to say. Uh, Organize 365 has undergone some academic research in the last couple of years. We're defining what is housework, we're defining what is organization, and we're defining what is paper organization. But in mm -hmm. all of those studies, we asked our respondents, when is something organized? Like, what is organization to you? And we mm -hmm. separate out from men and women and men and women had different responses in a lot of categories. But yeah. when we asked what organization was, the top for both was being able to find something that everything has a place and being able to find it. And mm -hmm. that works great for things that you are putting away. But what do you do with all of this stuff that is in process? It doesn't right. have a place to go. It is in between, like I've decided I'm going to do it and it's going to be done at some time in the future. And some things like, changing your cable company or remodeling your bathroom can take 10 years. Right. So in that 10 years, where do you keep the quote and the paint color that you love and the picture that you cut out of a magazine? And all yes. of that is contained in the Sunday basket, whether it's a one week project or a 10 year project, there is a place for it in here. And that's what we don't have places for in our homes. Yeah, I think that's a really good point. I'm so excited you're doing the research because I've been feeling like the research needs to be done and has needed to be done for years.